Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very special day um, that I have for you today, and it's post bag day. This is my first post bag day that I'm putting on video for you guys um, because it's a very big day. I have a lot of things that just arrived in the post, and I'm going to get started. All right. Well, the first one we have here it says from someone Glenn blah 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 and it says gift category of item gift well thank you very much it was indeed a gift I and mean, at the price I got it for um, they are pretty much gifts so let's have a look what do we have here Oh, this looks like an Altoids. Hmm, what is that? A USB 3 meter. Okay, it's a USB 3 voltmeter, amp meter, milliamp hour meter, watt meter. It's got four displays. Anyway, let me open this up. I'm very excited. It's a very interesting package though. Looks like a box of sweets. And indeed, it is a gift. Although, I did pay like something like $8 for it. Um, let's have a look. Instruction manual written in Chinese. Oh, wait, it says English description on the back. Ah, ah. There we go. English. Okay. Oh, it looks pretty thorough. It's got quite a lot of functionality. Several pages worth. And here it is. A bit of a lanyard. And the item in question. Alright. Well. You plug it into USB device there and another USB device there and then it will tell you the load between them it will tell you how much the the USB device that's plugged into this is using in terms of volts watts and all those goodies so this is the um, the high power USB version so it actually supports several volts more than five and in fact it supports up to 13 volts hmm well okay then <clears throat> let's keep on moving just quickly back in the box and let's get to the next item ah something a little bit more chunkier okay Let's open this up. Very well packaged. Nice cardboard box. Lots of bubble wrap. And uh, I forgot to read what it was supposed to be. It says resistors. Gross weight kg, one kg. Ooh. I don't know if that's a kg, but okay. A bunch of resistors. Ah, what do we have here? Mm, 10 watt, 8 ohm, a whole bunch of 10 watt, 8 ohm resistors. Well, I guess I'm going to use these for testing loads on my audio amplifiers to check how. Uh, how efficient they are, etc. etc. So can you use that? Lovely. Next item. This thing says 22 AWG wire, 10 meters. Oh wow, okay. 10 meters worth of worth of wire in a small package like this. Ah, there it is. Ah. Oh, very neatly tightly packed 10 meters hand or scale great the next item 
This one comes from Swiss Post Priority. Hmm, it says gadgets, boards, shields, cables, gadgets, LED lights. Comes to a total US dollar value of 11. Hmm, basically for free. Let's have a look. Ah, what do we have here? A, a USB to um, PS2 mouse and PS2 keyboard connector. Ah, oh. lovely. So now all those old PS2 mice that, <coughs> that I have lying around, I can actually use in my new USB PCs. Lovely. Okay. Let's see what's in here. This looks interesting. Okay, let's see. Ah. This is a shield. It's an Arduino Uno with an LCD button shield. Clicky clicky. And uh LCD features a potentiometer to adjust your uh, brightness and at the bottom is your UNO ah it's all in one lovely ah excited okay let's see what else is in here what is this it's an IDE and SATA converter what Ready. <clears throat> one IDE port, one serial port, one power connector converts serial to parallel. Supports ATA 100 133, compliant with SATA specification. Oh, wow. So I can plug my old hard drives um, into my, my SATA ports now. Lovely. Okay next one what do we have here oh it's an LED light but it's so small what kind oh this is the ah this is the motion motion activated LED light it's a very small version um, does it come yes it comes with the instruction manual some double-sided adhesive tape and there we can see it's got the uh, the motion sensor unit and LED lights and at the back um, it's got a space for a double A battery oh. plus a few mounting holes that I can mount it Sort of a above a doorway, if you walk under it, the light will come on, or near a light switch. So you can actually find the light switch in the dark. Lovely, great stuff. Okay, and the last few items in this package. What is this? It says DC DC. Ah, oh, it's the LM25. 96 DC to DC buck converter adjustable obviously so you can adjust um, anywhere between <coughs> below 50 volts to anywhere between uh, 35 volts on the output according to what these capacitors, capacitors are capable of yeah nice and I guess I got two of these. <clears throat> All right. Okay, next one. Ah, wait a minute, what does this even say? It says all sorts of codes and numbers and more codes and 
and it says it's got more codes and numbers and more codes and numbers. It doesn't really say what's in here, but I will show you. Okay, first item. Um, ooh, LED rings. Ah, oh, amazing. These are individually addressable RGB LED rings. Five volts. Hmm. Got a few of those. That'll be little fun projects. Um, yeah, let's see what else we have here. Hmm. This is interesting. These are breadboard power supplies. Look at that. Ah, yes. Pins at the bottom, plug into your breadboard. And then you got your 2.1 connector and you got your switch between 3 volts and 5 volts and you got a USB input as well lovely actually this looks like a really high quality device some decent decently specced um, regulators at the bottom and some really quality capacitors on top nice okay I've got two of those. Okay, let's see what next. Ah, battery holders. Of course, so that I can plug things into my breadboard power supplies. I have my breadboard battery holders with the exact correct plug to plug into there. Ta-da! Lovely. Been waiting for those for a while. And other two of those. All right. What else is in here? Hmm. Whoa! Massive breadboards and more and more. Lovely. Oh, what else did I get here? Whoo! Breadboard jumper cables whole huge packet there must be like hundreds in here <laughs> let's see what else we got here mm. more breadboard power supplies wow I bought so many let's just have a look at these there they actually look a bit different to to the previous ones <coughs> that I just showed you, these ones are slightly different. Ah, they also have USB and an on off switch and the same 2.1 connector. Yeah, very, very similar, but even as is quite a lot bigger if you compare the size of the red one it's a lot smaller compact than this bulky um, black and yellow one so got three of those okay what else did we get here and a little bit of a thank you note we would if you if you we would appreciate if you could leave us positive feedback with five stars. Well, that's very nice of them. Oh, decent. Okay. Next package. Should we check what does the package say? It says thermal paste. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. What am I going to get up? Well. This is definitely going to be for some of my audio amplifier projects and I need some thermal paste to use between the ICs and the heat sinks which are all still on their way. Cool, I got three of those. Huh? Well, a little bit of spare just in case. Okay, that's that. And another one that says headphone. Okay, and it's also set as, as gift. 
Well, thank you very much, although I still paid customs for that. But gift indeed. Um, okay. Let's see what a Chinese pair of headphones look like. Oh, there's no box. What seems like there is no box. All this. Loads of bubble wrap. <coughs> and it keeps on wrapping. Ooh, ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, it comes in a nice velour type finish pouch. Um, seems pretty compact. I mean, look how it is kind of small. Ah, I've got a, a USB cable. An audio cable, in case you want to plug it into your audio player. Uh, and it seems that it's been folded. Yes. Oh, whoops. Oh, what happened here? Mm, the headphone came loose, but I don't think it's a train smash. We can just plug it, hook it back, straight back in there. And back in there. Ah, there we go. Lovely. Pretty neat. Neat looking, very lightweight. Um, just even got a microphone, because it's Bluetooth, so you can use it as a full on headset. It's got volume control. Um, it's got a button that you can push and in three directions. It's got uh, auxiliary inputs. It's got your on and off switch there. So yeah, these are my Bluetooth headphones. Lovely. And they're so small and compact and they fold like that. Lovely. Straight into the pouch. Very compact and very nice. Well done. Okay, is this Almost the last one, what does it say? Switch power. Mm -hmm. Okay. Power supply. Ooh, two of them. Oh, let's have a look. Wow, look how small that is. Sure, look at that. And for comparison, it's a switching power supply. Um, uh, there it is. It's 12 volts, 2 amps, so that's 24 watts. Hmm. Nice. Nice package. 12 volts 2 amps 24 watts comes in a nice metal casing um, got, it's even adjustable slightly um, switch AC you know everything you need it's a switching power supply that's tiny I have two of them okay great I use those to power um, LEDs or audio amplifiers or, ah the list goes on Anyway, so I will continue this in a second. I'm just gonna have a quick, quick flyover of all the goodies I got today. Sure, can't wait to actually start using them. These breadboards are huge. These power supplies for the breadboards are gonna be fun. Circular LEDs, power converters, um, motion detector, um, ripcord, which I so desperately need um, for another LED project. Um, Masata to to Parter, <laughs> my LCD shield with Arduino at the bottom. Uno, my Bluetooth headphones, my switching power. Anyways, so excited. 
can't wait to play with them all. And uh, one moment, I'm still, I've got still one big package that's going to land up over here just now. Let me just get it for you guys. Alright, so I opened this package earlier. It's the biggest one of the lot because I was so excited to see what's in it. And the only hint I got what was in it was hex screws module PCB resistor. That's the only description there was. So let's start unpacking these. Ooh, what do we have here? It's a, it's a USB hub with memory cards slots. Ah. Huh. Oh, three USB 2s and four different, five or six different types of, uh, of memory cards. And it's very simple and very cheap. I'm not even going to try and sell that because you guys need to go check that out. Okay, what else did I get here? Ah, I know what these are. These are audio amplifiers. And they're tiny. This is a. Uh, it's the TDA 2030A. So it's the 2030 TDA. And uh, you can see minimal bunch of parts. They're, in fact, they're all SMD, most of them. And uh, it's got a little heatsink. And yeah, apparently this is good enough to push somewhere between. Uh, 15 watts, 10 to 20 watts, roughly, depending on the voltage. Um, obviously, the voltage is limited to the input capacitor, which is 16 volts. So, yeah, anywhere below that. So, you probably won't get much more than 10 watts out of it. But even that is quite a lot. Um, so, with three of those. Hmm, let's see what else I got here. Hmm. Another one, another audio amplifier. This is a slightly different one. Um, and it didn't come with the heat sink. It came without a heat sink. In fact, it was a little bit cheaper. Um, but it's also the same one, it's a TDA2030. And instead of SMD parts, it came with dis discrete parts and looks like. Hmm. Also, it looks like it supports 16 watts. It's, it's, it seems like a bigger capacitor. It is actually. It's a lot bigger one. It's a 2200 microfarad versus the, um, the other ones, which were 470 microfarad. So, what that means is this should be able to give you generally better sound throughout the bit of sound power throughout the range anyway that's my theory at least and we shall see if that holds true and a whole bag of potentiometers I think they're all 10 kilo ohm or 5 kilo ohm or something like that um, let's see it's a bag ah these are my pro, my pro minis. Yes, I'm waiting for these for a long time. Ah, little Arduino Pro Mini. Look at the size of that thing. The size of my thumb. Lovely. And it's it's possibly the three volt version. Can't really say for sure. It's not very well marked, but I'll have to check the. Uh, um, the invoice again to check that uh, a couple of header pins. So yeah I'll put it back in there quickly And I got two of at least two not three of those wow. And another USB hub just for gifts and people that might need it. So I'm not gonna use that many I know a lot of people who need that kind of stuff huh. Okay, so I get a a package with a mica tab 
and a spacer and a screw. That's supposed to be for my amplifier, that one, which came in a huge packet. An amplifier, I think the amplifier might have fell out that, fallen out of that packet, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, and I got some USB cables. Um, got some high quality bunch because I've you know, they, they always ship these these low quality ones with with all sorts of other weird you know electronics that you buy and you know you end up with a whole bunch of low quality cables that don't you know have proper contact and things like that so I thought I'd get a couple of these and um, they're like these these flat ribbon types which is quite seems quite trendy or something can't really say for sure um, but I paid a little bit more I don't know if it's just the way they look or if, if they're actually better quality but um, can't say for sure but yeah I got a few of those um, let's see what else we got okay female PCB headers oh I think I actually received more than I ordered. I'll have to check again. But I got quite a big bag full of those. Lovely. Okay. Oh, what do we have here? A eh? charger USB. Um three port USB a 3.1 amp um USB charger. Oh, that's plenty of power, 3.1 amps at 5 volts, that's uh, 15 watts, oh uh, yeah, that can power a few electronics projects. Um, sure. And some more potentiometers. Ah, this is my hex kit, it's uh, hex screws, uh, spacers, standoffs, all black kit comes with about 200 odd pieces so that's quite useful for my um, electronics projects which I'm about to begin I want to build some audio amplifiers and a couple of power supplies and some PCBs so you know I need to obviously mount, mount these things in some sort of fashion um, and a few more of those Okay, what do we have here? It says cap meter kit. Oh, don't fall off the table. Capacitance meter DIY kit. Ah, capacitance meter. Yes. So you can measure and see the capacitance um, of your capacitors that you wish to measure and you can test obviously the quality and of your various capacitors and then you can determine if it's if, if it makes the grade you can even check all the capacitors to see if they're still with its spec and you know so you can replace the ones that are needed so it's quite a useful um, device to use for for hobby electronics and repairs anyway moving along ah Got some gold-plated uh, RCA um, ports. You you can just see uh, audio projects coming up soon. Um, I'm not even going to tell you that because you can obviously see that. Um, I got a splitter cable. It's uh, let me just take it out. I don't know if you can see. It gives you two two males for one female. So it lets you split. Um, things like from this battery you could plug in two into two breadboards with this splitter cable quite awesome okay what else this looks very interesting these are sealed in a very well constructed uh, anti-static bags and ah these are my 80 tiny 
85s. So these are basically the, the smallest version of Arduino um, development boards that you can get. Comes with the USB um, host inside. And it looks I got a total of four of these. Although the package two in this one, I don't know if that was correct or a mistake, but I'm sure I le ordered at least three because I've got some big projects coming up. Okay, let's see what else did we get here. <clears throat> ah, I think that's an LED strip. I'm very curious. Yes. There we go. Um, I think it's just, yeah, it's just the RGB. It's an RGB LED strip. Um, the usual connectors. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Okay. Oh, what do you have here? It's a... Power supply. I have so many power supplies right now. This is a AC to DC 12 volts. Um, doesn't say exactly how many amps, but uh, looking at the construction. Um, I'm sh I'm sure it can do a few amps. I mean, it's got it's got quite some hefty um, heat sinks. I'm sure it can do, do more than than four amps or so um, at 12 volts. So that's 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 quite a bit. That's enough to power a, a mini hi-fi or something. Anyway. Yeah, some more USB cables, black one, a purple one. Um, what do we have here? Ah, it's got a battery on the back and an oscillator. And uh, it says Tiny RTC I2C. R Tiny IT RTC I I2C. So it uses the I2C bus. Ah, there's the battery, it's our lithium ion battery and um, yeah, so basically it's a timing module that gives you accurate time, um, time measurements. So that's, that's that. Uh, another power splitter cable, another USB cable. Uh, ah, this, uh, same, another audio amplifier, mm. and another audio amplifier. Ah, we got some uh, headphone, headphone jacks, so these are all going to be used for my amplifier projects coming up very soon in one of the next few videos and we got some more uh, RCA plugs um, points another USB cable and uh, another power supply switching power supply it's it's actually a 24 volt, this one. Mmm. Give you a little bit more oomph. I like that. And another hex kit. Hex um, black plastic hex um, M3 standoffs, spacers, screws, you know, the works. I got two of these so that I would never run out. Oh, look at that. So much blue. So many resistors. 
Wow, this literally comes with every resistor you can ever imagine. I have it. If you need it, I have it. Boom. Resistors. Okay, and more potentiometers. Just loads. I'm sorry I'm keeping all these in the packets, but I still got so many to go through, so I'm not going to un unpack each and every one. Ah, this is an interesting um, USB cable. This one I want to unpack. Look at that. It's actually, it's a one into three. So if you ever ran out of, you know, USB ports, especially for charging devices or powering devices. Now you can run three items off one port. Very cool. This will come in handy sometime, I'm sure. Uh, excuse me. Uh, got another one of those. And there's still more things in here. Yes, these are essential. Prototyping P P PCBs and a whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of these ones and a whole bunch of bigger ones. And Another bunch of smaller ones. And another bunch of slightly bigger ones. Very useful to start prototyping things if you want to create your final build. Then you can put them on your PCBs and another USB splitter. Well, that is that my friends so many plastic packets just this pile of components and parts and a few kits a few power supplies loads of resistors and jumpers and breadboards and oh. anyway I'm tired I'm sure you guys are tired of this right now as well so I'm going to say cheers, thanks for watching, until later.